Hi everyone. As I was clearing off my desk, getting ready for the new catalog and putting away things from the holidays, I thought I would show you how I organize some of my scraps. Um, Stampin' Up! sells little gusseted bags, little tiny treat holders, or also when you order some embellishments from Stampin' Up! you get little tiny Ziploc bags. Those are always perfect too. I save them and I use them to hold my scraps. And I keep them in the container with the stamp set. So this was a little bird and branch and little flowers I found on my desk probably from a few months back and um, they were hanging out in a corner underneath a bunch of papers doing nobody any good. So if I put them in this little baggie next time I get out this stamp set and I think I want to use it I might be able to use this little branch and the little birdie on a card. Same thing with my little cookie cutters. I had some extra little cookie cutter guys that I half painted and little extra scarecrows. So I'm going to put them in here in the little baggie with that. So simple. Snow place. You don't want to lose these little tiny things. Like I cut out this little tie and I die cut these little muff, um, earmuffs. You don't want to lose that. <laughs> Someday you may want these little earmuffs. It's a little silly, I know, but these little bags are pretty inexpensive and um, you know, you have them, they're in here with your stamp set, you can't go wrong. I do the same thing with thinlets, sometimes there's not a stamp set. So for example, this one is the Rose Garden Thinlets, which has these really pretty uh, leaves and roses, and so I saved those right here in a little baggie in the dies. So that's what I do with my little die scraps, and I want to show you what I do with paper scraps. I always have little tiny bits and pieces. I keep my paper in the original packaging and then I just slip the little scraps into the bag um, and then put these inside of a big like a file folder hanging file folder box and I have them by color family but these little scraps come in handy because when you're looking for a scrap of a certain color you don't want to have to go through a big giant bag of scraps and see if you have the right color by having them right here you can grab them and you can use up your scraps instead of throwing them away. I find that I can do a lot with this. For example, I use these little tiny scraps for um, accents but also to punch. It's so much easier to punch a shape, little hearts and things out of the side when you don't have to use a big piece of paper. Alright, that's it. I just wanted to show you that really quick as I was putting away my desk. Um, I hope that that helps you in some way to organize your scraps and get those scraps onto a card someday. Thanks for watching.